talk about codling moth a little today. And it has a cycle, and right now, as part of that cycle, is moths hatching. They can overwinter around the tree, they can overwinter in the compost, they could be overwintering anywhere. So we put up these traps, like this, and we have filled it with vinegar, molasses, tiny, tiny bit of ammonia, and water. So this is supposed to attract the moth, and I just checked it earlier today, I didn't see any signs of moth. But this will be our indicator that they are hatching out and they are present. Their, their cycle after that will be the moth will lay eggs on the tree. At this stage, obviously, it would be the leaf. They will be there for several weeks, eating on the leaf. And then eventually, when you have apples, they're going to bore into the apples. They're going to spend at least three weeks in there doing their little tunneling, etc. Then they're going to come out. They're going to crawl down the tree. Apples that have fallen, like in our June fall, could have these larvae in there or these uh, caterpillars in there. So they're going to go up the tree and they're going to want to lay or to uh, go into their pupate stage in the cocoon in the bark. So what I have done is taken cardboard, corrugated cardboard, ripped part of the cardboard off so that we have all the corrugated parts. Don't do a real neat job if there's little places that they can go under that have been left. Uh, to me, that's a good thing. So I've wrapped these around here, hoping that ones that would come up this way or ones coming down will decide to do their cocoon inside the cardboard instead of in the bark. Mm. Then we'll take and keep checking this. Really, we won't need to check it probably till June, I would say because we have to have apples and when that June fall happens, that's when we'll re really be checking it. If we find them in there, we're gonna burn them so that we'll totally destroy as many as we can. So the idea is you probably will never get rid of all of them, but if we could get it down where we only have 10, 20%, we would be happy with that. So that's the purpose of uh, our little traps and our cardboard.